Hi, and welcome to Live with Joy. Good morning. Um, we're gonna give it a couple moments for everybody to start to come on, and then I'll explain everything that we're doing today and the equipment that we're going to need. But as you can see, we are going to be working the upper body today. So I'm calling it an upper body blast because we are blasting that upper body from with several different methods and uh, different angles and different ways to really hit that upper body strength and also really define, get a little bit of intensity into our workout as well. So we're gonna really fatigue the muscles of the upper body and we're gonna do that in four different circuits today. And within those circuits, we have several exercises that we're gonna be doing today. So we actually have six exercises per circuit um, and we're gonna do them two times. We're gonna run through each exercise only one time and then we're gonna repeat them a second time. So you're gonna do all six exercises and then you're gonna repeat all six exercises. So the six exercises that we're gonna do, we're gonna have two weighted, we're gonna have two standing um, using no weights, giving, getting the muscles fatigued a little bit, and then we're gonna hit the floor and we're gonna do two body weight exercises on the ground. Um, if for any reason you're uncomfortable going to the ground or you prefer to do the body weight work elevated, you can simply use your couch or a chair to do that body weight work elevated so that you don't have to necessarily go down to the floor. You will be going down to the floor at every circuit because we do have that body weight, upper body strength that we want to uh, utilize and build. So we do need to come to the floor or again, elevate yourself on a couch or a chair if you don't want to do that. Um, Remember, part of that getting down and up is part of your workout. Hopefully you're getting a little bit more efficient with getting up and down from the floor. Um, you're gonna do the best that you can. You have a 10 second transition to get down and to get up. Um, but if you need more time, of course, please take it um, and get into position best that you can, okay? So you will need your dumbbells today because we're gonna use that for our weighted strength. And then if you're coming to the floor, you will need that mat on the ground um, if you're going to use your couch to do that body weight work elevated, you can do that as well. You can also, for all of the body weight work, you can simply hold a plank on your forearms or on those hands, either from that elevated position or on that floor, okay? And get that strong and you don't have to necessarily do the movement associated with that body weight work in those plank positions. So again, it's really going to be up to you. Build that strong plank and strong foundation first before you add that movement, okay? All right, so let's get started because we've got a lot to do, so we're going to just warm it up. Let's march it out, right and left. You want to stand up nice and tall, get those shoulders down, retract that, and engage that center. Eight more right here, let's go eight. Four, three, two, let's heel across, little push. Eight more, eight. Four, three, two, step, touch, kick it side, side. Eight more, 
to the hamstrings. Reach across and tap. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Reach it overhead. Up. Back across. Four. Three. Two. Step. Tuck. And press. Let's roll those shoulders back for four, three, two, take those legs out wide and hold, hands on those thighs, and hinge roll with a flat back, hold it, and roll it up halfway, stretch that spine, take that flat back down, roll it all the way up, allow that head to come up last, and roll the shoulders back. All right, first two exercises I'm going to show you, and then as we move through it, I'll show you the other two that are going to be coming up while we're in it. Okay, but I'll show you the first two before we start that circuit, which is going to be to hinge forward and get a rotating row. 30 seconds here, and then 30 seconds of rotating cross. Okay, then you'll put those weights down, and I'll show you your next two moves that are going to be coming up, okay? All right, grab your weights. And get ready to start. In three, two, your first move. Go for those rotating rows right here. 30 seconds on that clock. So we just have exercises back to back. Very short rest or transitions in between. Rotate and squeeze and retract those shoulders back. So you're hitting that back here. And again, we're blasting that upper body with different methods and with different angles. Get that last one in. You're right into those curls. Right away into those curls. 30 seconds here. And then those weights are coming down. And we're doing a speed bag. We got five seconds to draw and circle those hands with a speed bag. I'll show you. Rotating in one direction and then rotating the other. We got only 15 seconds for the next two moves. All right, drop those weights right here. Speed bag, get those elbows up and circle, circle. You're gonna have 15 seconds here and then 15 seconds into the other direction and then we're gonna hit that floor. So again, we're gonna do all of these exercises a second time. So this is your time to learn them. Last two, now circle other directions. So you're still doing it, you're just circling in the other direction. Breathe, just another way to move those arms and we're doing it with speed and a little bit of intensity here. All right, 10 seconds here at the floor. If you're not coming to the floor, you're gonna be here and then you're gonna do shoulder taps from the couch. If you're coming to the floor, you're down here. Legs up, hands up, reach forward and pull back. You've got 30 seconds here, and then 30 seconds of shoulder taps in that plank position. If you're on your feet, you're hinged forward, doing your W reaches here, and then you'll elevate yourself on the couch and do your shoulder taps there, or simply hold the plank. Really retract through those shoulder blades. Get that last one in. Okay, now you're either on the couch or on the floor, and you're working those shoulder taps for 30 seconds here, and then you're gonna come up and repeat all six of those exercises one more time before we move on to new exercises. So you should already be feeling those arms really starting to fatigue out from all those different exercises and different positions here. From here, come on up. Grab your knees as quick as you can. Get yourself reset in position. Hinge forward and rotate and pull. So on that second set. Just those rows. 30 seconds here. 
30 seconds of those curls. Take that chest open, don't round those shoulders. Really good posture and form right here. Come on up, right into those rotating curls. And then those weights go down, and you got that speed back. Both directions, 15 seconds each. Gonna blast those arms with a little speed in those speed backs. Good, weights down, and get ready for those speed backs right here. Circle one direction, and then we'll circle the other. Down low if you need to, up higher in front of that chest if you can. Think about speed here. Other direction, you're trying to work speed of those arms right here. And then 10 seconds to come to the floor and do those W reaches. Good, stop. If you're on your feet, you're gonna be here. And then shoulders out from the couch. On the ground, lower. Lift the legs, lift the hands, look down at that floor. And right here, reach forward and pull back. You should already be feeling that upper body. Do those first six exercises right here. Get that last one in, pop it up, and right into those shoulder taps. Engage that center and breathe. And then we'll get a little rest between our circuits and move on to six new exercises. Same idea. Two weighted, two standing, without the weights for speed, and two body weight from that ground for that elevated couch. Good, make your way up. Get some water if you need it. Reset in that clock, and I'm gonna show you your first two exercises, and then I'll show you the others as the main circuit. All right, so from here, we're gonna go for scoop and press. That's gonna hit that chest. Palms rotating up as you come, then hinge forward and into the reverse fly to hit those rear shoulder blades. So grab your weights, get yourself in position, opening up the chest, shoulders down again. Scoop and press first, weights to your side, weights in front of you with the palms up, slight bend in the elbows. Get set. And go. First two exercises right here. Scooping press. Now again, you should be already feeling that fatigue in the upper body from your first circuit. And now we're blasting that upper body with six new exercises. Engage that center as you come up and in front of the body with those weights. Good, finish up. Hinge forward, weights in front of you, and hit those rear shoulder blades right there. Slight bend in those elbows. Taking those arms out to the side. Give me small circles forward for 15 seconds. And you're going to already feel this as soon as you start making those circles. Really extend those arms out. Lengthen them out to the side. And now circle in the other direction. Keep them out there long and lean. And then your next two exercises is going to be in a forearm plank, either on the couch or come down to that floor. You got 10 seconds to get into that forearm plank position for your next exercise. Body weight down on the forearms. You're elevated from the couch or up. We're going to go into forearm taps right here. 
And then from here, you're on the clock, so start those taps if you need, your knees are on the floor. Right from here, we're gonna go into that right knee, planks up and down, okay? Right now, here, finish up your 30 seconds, holding that forearm plank and reaching those arms up. Or simply holding that plank. Knees down if you need to. Good, get that last one in and you're right into your right plank of knee. Once again, you are gonna feel that upper body fatiguing. Hang in there and simply hold that plank if you need to on the forearms for this one. Right arm comes up and down first every time. Get that last one in, and you got 10 seconds to come on up, and we're repeating everything, starting with that scooping press. Grab those weights, shoulders down and back, round those feet, engage that center, and go. Right back to that scooping press. You guys stay right there. So, again, you should be feeling that fatigue. Those six exercises are geared into really blasting that upper body with some fatigued work to really make those muscles feel challenged. So hopefully you're feeling that challenge with the weighting, the body weight, the speed work, getting that intensity up. Five more seconds. Hinge forward with those weights and give me those reverse flies. Right into that second weighted exercise. Hold a strong position, engage that center, go around through those shoulders. Come on up, weight's gonna come down, arms are gonna lengthen out to the side, and small straight arm circles right here. Really reach those arms in opposite directions, don't bend them, extend and lengthen them out. And make those small circles as quickly as you can. And reverse, other direction. And then we're coming into that forearm plank. You got 10 seconds to get there. Elevated from the couch. We're on that floor. And then we're going for those forearm plank reaches out, okay? So come on down. Get ready to reach left and right. Staying on the knees or lifting up to the toes, right here. Reaching and extending out left and right, and then we're gonna go into that left knee plank up. Really think about engaging that core so you have very little body movement. All about that upper body strength, holding you there. That core strength definitely gonna be working to hold you there as well. The stronger the core, the less movement you'll have in the body, but think about that upper body movement. Right here, left arm, start evening you up and coming down for those plank ups. Simply hold that forearm plank if it's too much. And then you're gonna be halfway through that class. Two more circuits of six exercises to blast that upper body left to go. And last and final one, come on up. Get some more if you need as I reset everything. And show you your first two moves. All right. So we are gonna go for our first two weighted movements, serving biceps, so we extend and lengthen those arms out. And then we're gonna go for lateral raises, keeping the elbows bent, rotating up. Rotating the weights back in. So we're gonna start right here, elbows back, engage that center. If you need to go one at a time, totally fine here. Get set, either push both out, one at a time, and go. You're on that clock, right here. Get that nice strong push out in front of your body. Breathe. Engage that center. 
hold your position strong. Get that last one in and right here, rotate. Lateral movement right here. If you want to do extended arm lateral raises, you can. Bent raises right here. Rest here if you need, and then get another one in when you can. Finish up that last one. Weights are going to come down. Arms are coming back out here, and now you're going to rotate palms up and down with a little pulse. 15 seconds. Palms up and down. Rotating through the wrist. Keeping those arms nice and long. All right, get ready. Hold those palms up right here. Lengthen and bring those hands together and back down to shoulder height. Really extend and lengthen those arms up and out and away from that body. All right, you are gonna hit that ground. Now, if you are on that elevated couch, you're gonna stay right here. If you're on that floor, you're walking it in and out. Now, you can have straight legs or bent knees, but you want to keep in contact with the floor with your arms the entire time. Okay, so I'm going to work those straight legs. Let just my upper body really get that work in. And come as close to those feet as you can. Okay, if you're on the couch, you can be doing, if you're elevated on the couch, you can do some knee tucks. Okay, instead of those walkout planks, which you can't do on that couch, or you can simply be holding that plank. Now we're here, going to rotate into side planks. Okay, this you can do from that elevated couch, on your knee if you need to, on the floor. Okay, right here, if you can. And then we're going to make our way up, and repeat that circuit. Good, let's make our way up. Grab your weights and you're going back to those serving biceps. So get those shoulders down the back. Open up the chest. Weights up right here. Push it out and in. One arm at a time if you need to. Hang in there, guys. Feel that burn. You're gonna feel it in your shoulders. You're gonna feel it in your forearms and your wrists. You're gonna feel it in those biceps and triceps. Hang in there. Work on getting as much of an extension out and in as you can with those weights. Either one at a time or both. Good. Now hold, rotate, and we're working on that lateral waist now. Bend elbows. If you want those long extended arms, you can do that too. But we want to work through that lateral movement of the shoulders. Get that last one in. Weights can go away. Arms are coming out to the side. And we're pumping little pulses as we rotate those palms up and down. So no weights here. All about lengthening out those arms and getting that little bit of movement as quick as you can. Palms up and right here. See if you can move a little quicker now through this. Extend and lengthen those arms. Out and away from that body. Good. And elevate on the couch. We do those knee taps on the floor. We're working on the walkout planks. So get that nice solid position in your full plank. You can stay here or walk in with straight legs or with bent knees. Strong upper body. Think about strong upper body. You're working on leaning out that body today. That upper part of your body. Strong in those upper body movements. Good. Set your plank position. Rotate into that side plank. One leg down if you need to. Think about that upper body stretch. Holding you. In position. Good. Make your way up. 
Get some water, you've got just one more circle left to go. That's gonna blast that upper body with. All right, right here. We're going for overhead reaches. One at a time if you need to here. Hinge forward and work on those kickbacks for the back of that arm, okay? So last two weighted exercises right here. Grab your weights, place them on the shoulders. We can't come all the way up. We can do one or double small pushes without extending all the way over that head. Set your position and go. Reach for that ceiling right here. Last and final circuit right here. Last six exercises. forward, elbows up, kick back. Good, make sure you're bending those knees even at least slightly. You don't want to have fully extended left. Keep those elbows up. Open. Squeeze that back as you bring those arms 
as you open up those arms right here. And we got that final set of dips and frontal raises from that reverse tabletop position if you can. So right here, bring it down or use that couch for your dips. Right here, keeping the bottom on the floor, pressing it up and down, or keeping the bottom up. And then you extend those elbows from here. If you need a rest, take a rest. 20 seconds. If you can manage getting one or two and then taking a rest, do that. Coming on your last five seconds. Now if you can manage to hold it up here and work that single arm frontal raise. Otherwise here, lean back a little bit. With those arms here, you can even hold it in a full pose. If you want to do that to get a little bit more core. Right here if you can, keeping those hips lifted, transferring the energy from one arm to the other. If you're not ready for that, you're sitting on your bottom. Totally fine. Get that last one in and make your way up. You are all done. Let's start to roll those shoulders back. Relax out of the body now. Good, let's get those legs out wide. Let's take those hands on the thighs. Just get a little stretch through the back. So we'll flatten out that back down. Roll it up halfway. Stretch out that spine. Try to remove any discomfort in that back. And then flatten down and roll it all the way up. Head coming up last. Once you come up, roll those shoulders again. Good. And let's take that right arm right across that chest and press it in. Really get a nice little press, not on your joints, you're not pressing on the elbow, you're pressing on the arm above the elbow. Take it up and back, reach down that back and press. Lengthen and extend those arms up, roll it down, interlock behind the back. You're going to feel that fatigue in that shoulders. Open up that chest, squeeze and retract the shoulder blades down, and release. Take that left arm across the chest, press it in. Again, not on the joint, not on the elbow, but on the arm above the elbow. Good, breathe. Take that same arm up and back, reach down the back, press back. Lengthen the arms up, lower down the inch back behind the back, open the chest, squeeze and retract the shoulder blades back. And release, let's interlock the fingers, bring them behind the head. We're going to take the elbows together so we're rounding that back, and then open up and squeeze that back. Round, bring the elbows together, open and squeeze. Two more times, round. Open and squeeze. One more time around. Open and squeeze. And relax. Let's take two deep breaths in. Exhale and down. One more time in. Exhale and down. And you are all done. Fantastic work today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for that upper body blast. Hopefully you felt that blast in the upper body. You felt that fatigue setting in that challenge work that you needed to do. Awesome job. Remember, if you can't do everything, don't worry about it. I know the plank work is tough. Work on holding those planks and getting them strong because movement's not going to happen until those planks are super strong, okay? So make sure you work on that first. Some of that other stuff may or may not come, but as long as you're getting that plank strong, you're still going to be working upper body tension and that core as well, okay? Tomorrow we're gonna do something for full body, okay? We'll get some cardio and we'll get some strength in as well. Um, and we'll get that intensity up with our cardio moves and we'll challenge our strength with the strength moves, okay? So it'll probably be like some combo moves, things that will work the upper and lower body together, okay? So we'll kind of put that all together tomorrow. So wonderful work today. Thank you again for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow. Remember, you can save your workouts, you can share these workouts, you can come back to this page, click on videos, and get all the workouts that we've done. So make sure you do that whenever you are looking to get a workout in. Make sure you check and see what we've got. Lots of things available to you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.